Which of Sheridan Ferris? Press P to play or Q to quit? Um, no enter. No space. No click. P to play. Just be sure. 22nd of March 2035. What? P to progress text? Space, enter, click. <laughs> okay, sure enough, yeah, click. Last night, the son of Lord Raleigh vanished. The boy was last seen in the valleys to the east. So the Lord sent his men to search the desolate hills. As long as they're not very quiet or very violent, I'm fine with this. Yet the town's priest disagreed and spoke of his visions. Your boy traveled west, he told the Lord. Yet Raleigh was never a man of fate and ignored the priest. Huh? Wait, so nobody knows actually where the kid went or what's happening here? You, on the other hand, so true to the visions. They spoke to you. In the morning, you embarked west towards the forest. The Lord's prize would be great if you're able to return the boy. What happens if I fall in love with the boy and want to keep him for myself, huh? I'm gonna assume the boy is of legal age, right? Well, back then in 1935. I mean, then again, you... <laughs> Wait, no, nothing might be legal. West. Um, so where is West? Do I follow the road to the west with this PlayStation Zero graphics or no? Okay, I guess I'm going to the west. It honestly feels more like uh, just casual racism by our empire. Not to go to the west, east, south, down. I don't know how nobody knows where the kid went and then the priest knows. I mean, a priest always knows where a boy is. Priest must have a fine nose. They never miss their boys, do they? <laughs> yep, just follow the road, I guess, you know? In the, in the, in the silent, sorry, the silent mountains, yeah. The silent mountains, what beautiful mountains, valley, the silent valley. Beautiful, silent, silent, silent valleys. It's getting dark. Is this a good thing with all your ray tracing? Who, who even travels through here where they like left the uh, pass at this point? <sighs> the sun is setting, big boy. The sun is going down. The loss of brightness. Huh, is this an actual shader? Like the Rayla cast shader, you know, for like the atmospherics? I'll need wood for fire. Me? Is that me talking? I And to find wood. Well, there's plenty of wood. Unless I'm very lazy and I'm... Yep. Very well, yep, one entire wood, baby. That doesn't look like wood, that looks like something you ride in a different way. There we go, one entire wood, yay. Let's go ahead and find some random brown spots with all these lovely, 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 lovely high-end graphics. Honestly, I have nobody to blame myself nowadays. Sorry I didn't join the Bitcoin bandwagon back in the day and rip off people from their money so I could buy a high-end PC, my bad. It's the best my PC can run nowadays, even worse than the PlayStation 1 game. <laughs> There we go. Uh, okay. Amazing how all the branches look the same, huh? They must be also from the same family of branches. Ah, by themselves. Just like modern age noodles with a packet that burns by itself. They forbade searching west. Why is my font red now on me? The boy wandered into the valley. Okay, so sometimes a boy gotta explore valleys. Not a single star in the sky, huh? Yet here I am. What pollution? Medieval pollution? Light pollution medieval style? All the bonfires around? I feel like something wanted me to come here. Okay. Good for them. Maybe the boy? A supple young boy for me? This is just like that cowboy movie. What, the young prince is gonna come in here in my bed? Ah, it goes across there. Why do I need a crosshair now? Wait, is that a crosshair? Oh, it's not a crosshair. What is that? It's, it's like a bad pixel. Um, okay. Well, my fire is out, kind of, very barely. Um, 
Yeah, no lantern, no light, you don't want to wait up in the morning, it's like right there from your bed, you know? It's not a big deal, I guess we'll just go towards the bad pixel. Oh no, the bad pixel is becoming bigger. What another person had visions, this is a priest part too. What is that? Are you a house? What? How is that even a window? Well, the definition of a house, I guess. <laughs> um, I have a statement to make. Red equals blood, heart. Lots of passion, lots of murder. Ergo, red is scary. Ergo, I don't want to go in, but I guess I have to. In order to find my young boy. And... Hmm... I doubt a uh, fire like that can reach all the way over there. Is this a door? No. What is that? Oh, I can crouch. Oh, good. A giant key. Oh, a giant key. What am I going to do with the giant... What is it? I'm just getting lucky on the way I'm pressing things, honestly. This is a miracle, and apparently the door behind me disappeared. Excellent. Good to know. Is this the door? No, the door disappeared. That's it. We're not even going to question this. And we just fell into a cellar. Without any light, without anything, and not even a ladder to get out. Please, by all means, let's see how we're gonna waste our riches later on. I can barely see something here. It's a candle, that's not gonna work, excellent. Was I supposed to have a lantern with me? I have no idea what I'm looking at, honestly. I'm literally as blind as a bat right now. <laughs> well, you wait to make my situation worse, bitch! Um, okay. <laughs> did I do that by eventually pressing the key, or did this word thing by work by itself? Okay, thank you, candle. Oh, I have to knock the door. Knock enough times and the door will open, I guess. Oh, the cellars of the abyss. Whatever was up there trapped me down here. I'm going to my favorite dungeon. It's dungeonizing time. It's time to get dungeoned. They have control to crouch. Well, way to break the immersion now, huh? At least this thing isn't made in the shape of my body. Good for me. What is that? Is that blood dripping from the ceiling or something in the cellar of life? <laughs> Man, I'm so happy all my stupid jokes are landing like a Boeing. Am I simp? Am I simp for the prince? Is this prince blood? Oh, the challenge! Am I gonna drink blood? Um, what is- Jesus Christ, man! I got rid of my candle just to drink some blood with my Nicolas Cage? Okay, what nice in the in the darkness? I have no idea where I am. I have no idea what's happening. Please don't ask me what to see in this game. I can't see anything. The only thing I can see is the pleasures of life that are torturing me right now. And apparently the door is oh no, the door didn't disappear. Right, there was the door. Are we sure we want to continue finding the prince like this? Just saying. What, the moonlight? The great old moonlight is shining upon me in the catacombs. Don't worry, it's gonna be about Cthulhu, right? <laughs> Giant libraries like this, catacombs in the darkness that you can barely see. Just don't see anything in the darkness, it's a horror game, okay? This is how we're gonna make it. Make sure you don't see jack shit! It's a horror game, another door! We knocked it like four or five times to go in there, this is horror. Is it a sequel or prequel to Cryptwalker, the other game that the developer made? Where like the Barbarian priest went down and like he got killed by a big manlet. <laughs> Was that a pile of bones? Um, it's getting... Wow. Sorry for making a manlet joke, I guess I need to suffer now, huh? They're teaching me to bow down. <laughs> it's getting small. <laughs> You know, you know like those, those, uh, what do you call them? God, I forget what the houses are called. Okay, it's a circus thing. You know that circus thing when like the doors keep on getting smaller and you open smaller doors like Alice in Wonderland? There's one episode in The Simpsons 
when they're rebuilding the the Simpsons house after it's been well actually Flanders' house I think and they make those tiny doors that keep on getting smaller it's like those circus house things oh another candle there was somebody before me here and they got taken here I guess I'm gonna progress more oh no the crying man the crying hollow man he cried in pain <sighs> A cage, what could it contain? Another candle. <gasps> My sweet prince! Oh, don't worry, I'll save you. Um, four keys. You need four keys for this, huh? Okay. It feels like you're skinny enough to go through the bars. I guess you think so highly of your giant bulge in your pants that you can't get through this, huh? Okay. How do I do this? It doesn't look seem that difficult, honestly. I'm... Uh, do you... Well, I mean, the base is made out of wood. It seems like if I topple it over, we can run. Wood? Is this all wood or what? Oh. What, I go inside a maze? I have to find keys? Um, how long... Jesus Christ, how long is... I'm sorry, did you close my exit? Um, hi, hollow man. Thank you for closing my exit, I guess. Fuck you. Knock four times, knock on wood as they say. Good luck. Good luck, knock on wood. Um, what's the catch? Why are the keys around here like this? Yeah, put away your candle, man. Put away your candle. That is like the most important... Okay, who knows? Yeah, my sweet little thing, don't worry, I'll save you. You'll be mine soon enough. Eh, by the way, how old is the prince and how old is my character? I just need to clarify something about the age discrepancy, or should I say the power dynamics here? <laughs> um, I guess your people need you? Um, can I look his blood? Okay, um, do I like hold out for him so he falls on me? Um, <laughs> where did you capture the prince so you have a side dish appetizer of me? I <laughs> came by Daniel Buckley, thank you Buckley, hopefully Captain America doesn't. Okay, thank you, J Jeremiah Buckley. <laughs> I already forgot his name. Thank you, Buckley, for that game. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, drum rolls, please. How big do you think the game was? The game was actually 70 megabytes, which is fantastic, considering I just played a game that was 1.30 gigabytes for no reason. I like how the entire thing amounted to just a jump scare at the end, which... <laughs> oh man, your feet need some work, witch. <laughs> huh? You're supposed to have on clothes? Oh, the witch is racist. Ah, she, the witch is a racist. Oh, that's understandable, honestly. Typical racist witches. Young male. A very young. Definitely very young. That's the hot body of... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what is this? An engine intestine? Uh, what about textures? Let's look at all the textures. Alright, the starting thing. Okay, uh, well, G2G, G, um, <laughs> I can't say anything, honestly. <laughs> that, you know, it's, it's as basic as games come. I don't mean come in that way. It's as basic as games come. It, it's like so, it's like so basic, honestly. Like, this is the basic minimum out of a horror game, and we got it, thankfully. So we're very blessed on this day. Thank you so much, Jim Buckley. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't remember the name. I'm so bad at names. Thank you, John Buckley, for for the Witch of Sherdon Forest. I guess in the end we got witched a lot. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And on that note, 99 nice, sippy tight peeps. I'm out here, out here, out here. Take care of the day. Bye bye. Stay safe. I'm out here, out here, out here. Bye.